temporary.
ברוכים הבאים בשם אדוני. Blessed are the two of you who come here in the name of God. ידעו את אדוני בשמחה, בו לפניו ברננה. Serve the Lord with joy. Come into God's presence with song. Mi adir al hakol, mi baruch al hakol, mi gadol al hakol, hu yivarech chatan vekala. We rejoice that Victoria and Andrew join in marriage in the presence of God and all their loved ones. O most awesome, glorious, and blessed God, grant your blessings to the bride, to Victoria, to the groom, to Andrew. Surrounded by loved ones whose joy and prayers are with you here, you stand underneath this beautiful chuppah, symbol of the home. May the home that you're building beginning today be a shelter against the storm, a haven of peace, a stronghold of faith and love. In this union, the sacred work of creation goes on, God joining man and women, God planting the divine likeness within them. Man and woman were created in the divine image. Male and female, God created them. May the union of Victoria and Andrew animate the divine in each of them. May each help the other to grow in God's light. In the Jewish tradition, wine is a symbol of joy. And so we're going to ask Andrew and Victoria to share in a cup of wine, symbolizing two lives joining as one. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei pari hagafen. Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. I'm going to ask everyone to be seated. I'm going to ask the person who has the rings. Okay. Gross. Put these right here. It's not gross. Got one kind of brother. It's all good. Let's see. Do we have another? It's in there. There's two sides of the pouch. Ah. Talk to Adler's about it. Praise you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe who hallows us with commandments and consecrates this marriage. We praise you, Lord our God, who sanctifies our people through Kedushin, the sacred rite of marriage underneath this beautiful chuppah. Now I ask you, in the presence of God in this assembly, do you, Andrew, take Victoria to be your wife? To love, to honor, and to cherish. I do. I didn't know if you were done or not. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, Victoria, take Andrew to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? I do. Victoria and Andrew, I'm going to ask you to speak the words, exchange the rings that make you wife and husband. Andrew, as you place the ring on the finger of the one you love, please recite after me the words that formally unite you in marriage. Hare at, Mikudeshet, Li, Batabat, 
Zo Kadat Moshe the Yisrael. Now in English. And con- <laughs> yes. Sure is. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife. In keeping with the heritage. Of Moses and Israel. Now, Victoria, as you place the ring on the finger of the one you love, please recite the words after me that formally unite you in marriage. Hare Ata, Hare Ata, Mikudash, Li, Li, Batabat, Zo. Kadat Moshe, Moshe the Yisrael. Yisrael. Be consecrated to me, consecrated to me. With, this ring, with this ring as my husband, as my husband. In, keeping with the heritage in keeping with the heritage of Moses and Israel. Aristikli Leolam, Aristikli Betzedek of Mishpat of Chesed of Rachamim, Aristikli Be'emunabi Adat et Adonai, I betroth you to me forever. I betroth you to me with steadfast love and compassion. I betroth you to me in faithfulness. As a symbol of their love for one another, Andrew and Victoria have purchased this beautiful ketubah, which was signed by them and by witnesses. It's a symbol of their love for one another. The tradition goes back 3,000 years. It's a custom to read part of the ketubah during the ceremony. Yechad b'shabat v'arba'a v'esrin yom nechodesh av, shnat chamesht alafim u'shva v'ot v'shivim v'chamesh l'minyan kan, Florham Park, New Jersey. <laughs> On the first day of the week, the 24th day of the month of Av, in the year 5775, corresponding to the 8th day of August in the year 2015, here in Florham Park, New Jersey, in the presence of family and friends, the beloveds Andrew Levy and Victoria Melroy entered into the covenant of marriage. And they said to one another, as we embark on life's journey, we promise to love, cherish, and encourage, and inspire one another. Our hearts fuse together, creating a bond with friendship and compassion at its core. As husband and wife, we will build a home emanating love, peace, tolerance, and charity. Through each other's lives, we see the world anew. May we always be better together. All this is valid, binding, witnessed, and signed. So, so friends, if you um, if you head out west on Route 22, you go through the New Jersey town of Phillipsburg. You cross, you cross the beautiful Delaware River, and you enter the town of Easton, Pennsylvania. Now Easton is a uh, Easton is a fine Easton. town, <laughs> but its glory days are coming back. <laughs> well, they're, they're they need to come back. Now you might be tempted to drive through the town of Easton just to get to something a little more scenic. Now you probably know where I'm going with it. If you look up, <laughs> if you look up, you see hidden by the trees and way up on the hills, 
some of the most beautiful buildings you'll ever see in your life. It's part of the campus of Lafayette College. Now it's a gem beyond measure. Can I get an amen? Is that true? <laughs> Absolutely. Amen. But it's a little hidden. And to get there, you have to take a winding road up the hill. But I'm going to suggest that if you do take that winding road up that hill, what you're going to find there is beautiful. Now, Andrew and Victoria, I'm mentioning this not just because it's where you both went to school, where you both met, and where you have wonderful memories. Frankly, I'm hoping my son will go there too, so. <laughs> but I think that how you discover the campus of Lafayette is a little like how you ended up discovering one another and reaching this moment. See, the beauty of your relationship was always there. The gem was always there. It just took a slightly winding road to reach it, to bring you to this magical moment. You met at school, you instantly became friends for three years, you hung out together, you spent time together, you loved being in each other's company, you did everything together. The gem, the beauty, the depth of your relationship, it was there from the beginning. As you told me, all your friends saw it. But it took you, Andrew, and you, Victoria, just, just a little more wandering on the road, just a little more climbing the hill to discover how deeply your feelings for each other ran. So after graduation, you each wandered a little bit, you each climbed the hill, but it was always there. And it wasn't long before you both realized how important it was for the two of you to be together. Victoria, as you said to me, Andrew, Andrew is the person in your life most easy to talk with. Being with him is so natural, and it's so easy for you. And Andrew, you said to me that you and Victoria just, you just click. You love, you love being with her. She makes you laugh. You even said she rivals your brother in being able to make you laugh. It's a high bar. She brings such happiness to you that you plan your day around the time that you're going to be with her. And you said, Andrew, that Victoria brings out in you such good things that all you want to do is to make her happy, to give of yourself, to make the rest of her life nothing but joyful. And Victoria, you said to me that because Andrew is so caring, he inspires you to be a more caring and loving person. His thoughtfulness towards others, he's, a, he's an example for you of how to be a friend. And I have to say, you both share an awesome sense of humor. I know that your original date was going to be a July 11th, so you could give everyone a cup from 7-Eleven. <laughs> my one regret is that my schedule didn't allow you to do that. Ours too. Yeah, I actually thought that was such a cool idea. 
Andrew and Victoria, you've been on quite a journey together these years. A journey that began with friendship and deepened into love, caring, and a commitment to share your lives together. And on a personal note, I just want to say that it's been such a privilege for me to be able to walk some of this journey alongside you. Over the course of these many months and getting to know you, I have to say that I have been inspired not just by two of you as individuals, but by the way you care for and love one another. I've learned from the two of you, Victoria and Andrew. I've learned the meaning of devotion. I've learned the meaning of caring. I've learned the meaning of selflessness. These things you help teach me. And for that reason alone, this day is always going to have a special meaning for me. So congratulations to the two of you. John and Janet, to Robert and Susan, to Adam and Robert and Brian and Melissa, to Mary Teresa and Louis. And at this time, we recall with love Jean and Robert, Martin and Gloria, Bennett and Harriet. Surely the memory of their love is with you this day. To all of you, congratulations and much joy. Tradition now is to chant seven special blessings for the bride and groom. They're sung to a tune that's only heard at weddings. And it begins once again with a blessing over the wine. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei pari hagafen. We praise you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, Creator of the fruit of the vine. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shakol bara lifvodo. We praise you, Lord our God, Creator of all things. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Yotzer ha'adam. We praise you, Lord our God, Ruler of the universe, Creator of woman and man. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher yatsar et adam b'tzalmo, b'tzalam demutav nito, v'hitkin lo mimenu b'nyad adeyad. Baruch atah Adonai, yotzer ha'adam. We praise you, Lord our God, who creates us to share with you in life. Sostasis v'tagel tzion, v'kibbutz b'nei l'tocha b'simcha, Baruch atah Adonai, v'sameach tzion b'vaneha. We praise you, Lord our God, who causes Zion to rejoice. Sameach t'samach, re'im ahuvim, k'samech acha yitzir cha b'gan eden mikedem, Baruch atah Adonai, v'sameach atan, we praise you, Lord our God, who causes bride and groom to rejoice. Final blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher baras ha-son v'simcha, chatan v'kala, gila rina di'itza v'chedva, ahava v'yachva, shalom v'reyut. Mehera Adonai Eloheinu, Yishama Be'ara Yehuda, Uchutzot Yerushalayim, Kol Sason Ve'kol Simcha, Kol Chatan Ve'kol Kala, Kol Mitzalot Chatanim Mechupatam, Unearim Amishte Neginatam, Baruch Atah Adonai, Mesamea Chatan, we praise you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, 
creator of joy and gladness, bride and groom, love and kinship, peace and friendship. We praise you, our God, who causes the bride and groom to rejoice. So, Victoria and Andrew, as you've shared the wine from a single cup, so may you, under God's guidance, share contentment, peace, and fulfillment from the cup of life. May you always find life's joys heightened, its bitterness sweetened, each of its moments hallowed by companionship and love. In the presence of these witnesses and in keeping with our tradition, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. Andrew and Victoria, by the authority invested in me, by the state of New Jersey, you are now husband and wife in the sight of God, the Jewish community, and all people. And I'm going to ask everyone here to rise as we say together the prayer we say at times of great joy, Shehechianu. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu V'Kiyamanu V'Higianu Lazman Hazeh Praised are you, O Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who's kept us in life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this joyful moment. V'Rechecha Adonai V'Yishmerecha May God bless you and keep you. Yair Adonai Pana Velecha V'Yichuneka May God's face shine upon you, be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai Pana Velecha V'Yisem Lecha Shalom Victoria and Andrew, may God grant you long life and health and joy. And may the beauty of this day stay with you throughout your life. Thank <laughs> you. 